Hey guys, Snowboarder10064 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a battery operated strobe light to a plug in strobe light so you can um, plug it into a motion sensor so it'll only activate, it'll only be on when you want it to be on. So. And you won't need to change the batteries during your haunted house or your yard display for Halloween or any occasion. So what you want to do is you just want to unscrew all the screws on the side of the strobe light and this just slides off like that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take the wire off that one. See that little, uh, this is what gives the, the batteries are put in this compartment right here and then so the power is coming from the batteries to this wire and the white wire over here and so what you want to do is just take the red wi wire and the white wire off those things and then you want to connect it to a um, a source that you can plug into a wall to a wall socket and what you want to do is just strip the end off of it and so this is the one that runs by the uh, plug-in and so you just strip the end off and what you want to do is just connect the white wire from the uh, strobe light to the white wire of your plug and the red wire of the strobe light to the red wire of the plug and if you don't if they don't have um the uh red wire and white wire, just um, plug it in and um, test it to see if it'll work with one way and if it doesn't work that way, try it with the other way and it should work. But if it doesn't work, either your uh, plug-in source and is um, broken or your strobe light's broken. And, um, so. and it works the same as this one. Here, I'll show you this one see and you just can adjust it with this knob turn to the left and go slower turn to the right gets faster and then it's got this little on and off switch and I'll show you it with the plug in okay. works just the same show you it See, turn all the way to the left, go slow, to the right, goes fast, then the on and off switch. And then so you just put it on when you plug it into your motion sensor and it'll turn it on when it is activated. And so, and then you would just take the box. What I did is I screwed a little hole in the case. And I brought the wire and then I took some hot glue and put it on there and then used some electrical tape to connect the two wires. Or you can use those little screw-on things, but I didn't have any of those and so I just used some electrical tape. And so, that one. And then, this is with the input. The plug is input uh, 12 volt and then it outputs 5 volt. Right, let me check that. Let me check. Input. One hundred to two hundred forty VAC and then output five V five volt VAC. And so that's with the five volt. And it works like the regular, like the one with the battery. And then the other strobe light I have is with a six volt, with a six volt plug in, and it goes much faster. Plug that in, and this is with the input whatever I had said earlier and then it outputs 
six volt. So when I turn it on, let me turn this light off. And that's the slowest setting. Shine it at the camera. And then you got your fastest setting. So it goes considerably faster. If you really want it as fast one, you could use this one. But it's uh I think it's a little bit less bright for some reason than the uh one with just five volt. So and that's about it. If you've got any questions about the strobe lights and how to hook them up or anything, just ask in the comment box below and I'll answer them. And um, these strobe lights, you can get, the cheapest I've seen is at Walmart for $4.95. Because I went to Walmart and I saw they were $4.95, so I got a couple. So, and that's the cheapest I saw. So if you find any cheaper, please tell me. Because I like to spend the least money amount, amount of money on stuff as I can. Because, <laughs> you know why. And so that's about it. Bye.